Thank you all. We just celebrated 22 years of marriage. Y'all welcome my lovely wife to the stage. Renee, where you at, honey? Come on up. Oh, making the long walk. <laughs> keep clapping, keep clapping, keep clapping. I'm kidding. Can you stop clapping? <clears throat> a long walk. I should have been a little closer. How about that? Thank y'all so much for having us here tonight. And you know, I knew when we drove up. You got high tall in those shoes. Oh, right? high. These flat shoes, and you got those not flat shoes. That's okay. That's okay. It? That's okay. Yes, it's fine. All right, I still look up to you. All right. Good stuff. Okay. Now, I knew we were in a good place tonight when we passed the Culver's on the way to the church. <laughs> oh, yeah, cheese curds, you know, it's what's for dinner. That's going to be good. Now, we are excited about being here tonight, and thank you so much for, for letting us come and be a part of your Sunday night service. And, you know, Clay mentioned a little bit earlier about our ministry, Holy Homes. I don't know, he kind of said it fast, and I don't know, have any of you guys ever heard of our ministry, Holy Homes? couple of hands out there well we got to change that because y'all we need some homes that are holy and dedicated to the Lord don't we amen and I'm telling you this God did such an amazing work in our marriage eight years into our marriage we just celebrated 22 years as he said and um, but eight years into our marriage God got our attention in a powerful way we both went through an amazing recommitment to the Lord and this is what God was telling us in that season of our life. You know, he, he liked seeing us go to church on Sunday morning and take our, we had two little girls at the time, Shelby and Savannah, little bitty things. And, and now we have two more children through the, the blessing of adoption. But he liked seeing us take those kids to church. And he liked us going to a Bible believing, mm -hmm. Bible teaching, church that believes in the power of prayer those were all good things but what god was speaking into our hearts was this he said clay renee i want you to be a bible believing bible teaching home that believes in the power of prayer somebody got to say amen now y'all know it because statistics tell us it don't matter if we're in the church or not the divorce rate is running the neck and neck same christian with not Christian. So something's happening with a disconnect here and we just know that God has put a passion in our hearts that say, hey, our home should be something that's special and set apart and rare in this world today, all for his glory. It's nothing, if you came to our house, we're not saying that it's a perfect place. Oh, well, they wouldn't have to be in our house very long at all before they would realize that, but those words that you use to describe what we're aspiring to, to have a home that's special, mm -hmm. that, that's set apart, yeah. that's rare mm -hmm. in this world, those words point to the word holy. Yeah. And that's what he's calling us to. He's not saying, well, I want you to get all your ducks in a row mm -hmm. and be this perfect family. Mm -hmm. Of course not. No one is that. Hey, you wouldn't have had, I mean, you could have been with us this morning on the way to church and in the church house. I was like, I can't believe we're having a moment here. Sometimes it's that's one of the toughest mornings of the week, right? Getting your kids into church. You can feel the attack right there. And, and we do say this. It's not a perfect place. Our home is not perfect. But I'm going to tell you this. We're walking with the perfect one. I'll tell you this, Renee. Things changed dramatically in the year 1998 when we both recommitted our life to Christ. Yeah. As longtime believers. Mm -hmm. But to recommit... Something changed about our home. Yes. There's no question. Something changed about the dynamic of our home. We said, Lord, we dedicate this home, this marriage to you. Mm -hmm. and you know, all through that season of our recommitment to Christ, we've been very open and honest about our testimony. We've done television and radio interviews. We've written a book called I Surrender All, all about our marriage and what we've been through and what, how God has blessed us through that. You know, all through that period, I was out singing places, but eventually I would just share more and more, and eventually I brought Renee on stage with me. It didn't happen overnight, but before long, we were being very honest, sharing our testimony, and then doing marriage events, encouraging Christian homes to refocus yeah. on Christ, and God has just blessed it. So I'm just, I'm asking y'all, and it's great to be in a part of the country, you can say y'all in St. Louis, yeah. right? Y'all does communicate here, right? Okay. <laughs> Because we go up north, and they have a translator for me. They think I'm Paula Dean or something. I don't know. But we want to ask you all to pray for our ministry yeah. because 
You know our enemy does not like mm -mm. a Christian couple going around encouraging other Christian couples to just refocus and get back in God's word and, and get into serving God and get into really leading. And I'm talking to the men, the dads, mm -hmm. the husbands out there to truly begin to lead their families to Christ. The enemy cannot stand the notion of that. So we feel the attack sometimes, mm -hmm. but more than that, we feel your prayers and support. We really do. So thank you all so much. Yeah, and tonight we just recently received our DVD of our teaching session that we do at conferences when we go out and, and speak. So it's a little short synopsis of what we do when we're out on the road. If you're interested in that, we do have it available on the table. And we always say when we do a marriage conference, there's lots of great marriage events out there. And, and we say, you know, when you leave one of ours, you're going to someone say, well, what did you, you learn at that marriage conference? And I said, this is what you're going to tell them. That Clay Renee Cross came from Memphis, Tennessee, and told us that we need to commit our home and our marriage and our family to the Lord. We need to be in God's Word daily. We need to have a powerful prayer life, and we need to be serving. And I said, they're going to say, wait a minute, you went to a conference to learn that you need to be committed to the Lord, read your Bible and pray, and serve the Lord in some capacity? It's pretty simple, what we bring... But I, we have seen we how powerful it, so it is. Years. Right. Yes. So we're just thankful that God mm -hmm. uses our testimony and, and the teaching. And we just... Uh, God is good. It, it's His work, and we've mm -hmm. seen it We've seen it time and time again in our life and in the lives of others who have mm -hmm. said, you know what? We're Christians, but we want to recommit mm -hmm. this marriage to Christ. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Thank you guys for letting us share about that. Y'all thank, yeah, thank right. Renee for joining Thanks. me on stage for a few moments. Awesome.